You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Good evening. The Mudlarks Drama Group proudly present The Bone of Doom, a Preston mystery in ten episodes. Episode 7. Mrs Shirley Hames's cousin, Cora, has been kidnapped. The only clues to where she may have been taken are a series of cryptic clues left in a number of locations in Margate. The first clue was found on the back of a tarot card belonging to Madame Rosa, a seafront fortune teller. This has led Mrs. Haynes, her sister Martha and her dog Preston to an exhibition of modern sculpture. The artist, Monsieur Pochard, has just noticed that one of the exhibits has been tampered with. Un des os de diamant a disparu. What's the matter? One of diamond covered bones is missing. I wonder how he can tell. Oh, c'est trop, ma belle sculpture. Elle est complètement ruinée. I will go and telephone for the police. No, please, Madame Rosa, not just yet. But surely... I don't really have time to explain now, but could you please ask Monsieur Pochard if he would open the glass cabinet? Uh, The thief may have left some clue behind. There may be fingerprints. Monsieur Pochard, s'il vous plaît. Do you think the next clue is in the cabinet? It's possible. After all, the last clue did say that from nothing one was taken away, and Monsieur Pochard says that one of the bones is missing. But that pile of bones isn't exactly nothing. Monsieur Pochard has opened the cabinet. Oh, thank you, Madame Rosa. Was the cabinet locked, Monsieur Pochard? Le cabinet, c'était mis en sûreté? <laughs> bah oui, hein, bien sûr. That means whoever has taken the bone had a key to the cabinet. Or picked the lock open. It looks like one that locks automatically when the door is shut. No, Preston, go back to Martha. Is there anything there? Mm, no. What is all this about, Madame Hams? I would very much like to help if I can. You've been a great help already, Madame Rosa. Madame Rosa, does Monsieur Pochard's name mean nothing in French? Me, non? Oh, well, thank you again. Surely the police should be called. Yes, of course. We will telephone them from the reception desk here. I think it would be best if you can stay with Monsieur Pochard until they arrive. You are not staying? I'm sorry. Oh, yes. I was forgetting. Your cousin is in danger. You must continue to search for her. Well, bonne chance. No doubt we will meet again. Monsieur Pochard, the gendarmes seront ici dans une bonne heure. How did she know that? Know what? That our cousin was in danger. We could both be in on it. Who? Madame Rosa and Pochard fella. Duck! Where? Oh, sorry, Preston, I didn't mean to step on your paw. Why did you tell me to duck, Shirley? Poor Shard, I think that's a breed of duck. That would explain the nothing bit of the clue. You've lost me. Cricket, isn't it a score of nothing called a duck? I think so, yes. But that doesn't get us any nearer finding the third clue. That exhibition obviously wasn't the place to look. Why? Because we haven't found the third clue. Yes, we have. There was a piece of paper tucked under the pile of bones at the back. Why didn't you say you'd found something? I didn't want Madame Rosa and Monsieur Pochard to know I'd found it. It's all a little too convenient. How do you mean? You said it just now. I did? Yes. You asked how it was that she knew we were looking for my cousin. I never mentioned I was looking for anyone, and she knew who I was. She said that she'd been expecting me because a couple of days ago a man had told her that I would be coming to Margate. Perhaps she just needed to gain her confidence so that he could stick the message on the back of the tarot card. Could be that man in the heavy coat we keep seeing around here. He's following us to see if we're picking up the clues. I suppose so. But we don't have much time left. The police will probably be with Madame Rosa and Monsieur Pochard by now. What's on that piece of paper you found in the cabinet? Mm. Can you hear a salty sound? Is it in your ear? Seek it underground. Fail and nothing will be found. Last of three will set her free. 
I thought this was going to tell us where Cora's been taken. Sounds like there's yet another clue to find. This is ridiculous. Can you hear a salty sound? Of course we can. We're by the sea. Let's go back to the town hall and get the police to help us. Martha, I know where we have to go. Where? The Shell Grotto. Don't understand. If you hold a seashell to your ear, it sounds like you're listening to the sea. And the grotto is underground. That's where Cora is. Mm. What are all these people doing standing outside? Excuse me, is this the queue to get into the grotto? No one's allowed in. It's been shut. There's a bomb down there. They're waiting for the bomb disposal squad to turn up. A bomb? Are you sure? Oh, it was the one that found it. It looked like someone had left an old bone in one of the niches. When I went to pick it up, it started ticking. I dropped it like a hot potato, I can tell you. I've never run so hard in all my life. Kristen, 